This is a phone that I was just on. And um, it's been roughly five minutes. I just cut it off not too long ago. And I was having, they're pausing it. They're actually holding it from starting up because I was about to record what they do with my mother every night around this time. It is... Two twenty five AM. And I was gonna show you because this is her iPad I'm recording with. I try to get her in the habit of turning it off at night because everything is linked to it. They trigger her mood, her sensations, eating habits, everything. But most of the time around both most nights know every night here consistently for weeks now they um wake her and because I was um gonna record it with this phone they kept it from starting up as you can see it's still here now I'm gonna take the battery out the back which would be probably anyone's resolve. And start it up. And now they're keeping the phone from starting up. And they're trying to make a point here that can't be made. Because for anything that they can pause, stop, or start remotely, there's a tech that can trace it. Go to hell, Todd's. They're attempting to make me mad because some of the attacks they can't carry out until I'm mad. <sighs> My lighthouse have to be at a certain level before they attempt to induce a heart attack or anything of that nature. Any type of memory removal. Go to hell, Todd's. One of the females was remarking, you know, you're messing yourself up by telling people that. And there's nothing they can do. Nothing. There's not even a smallest or slightest bit of hope for these people. But these are the type of um, unremorseful comments they make. And no phone takes that long to start up. One of the guys was just saying she's not going to know what to do without her phones. Right before this was implemented. And like I said, 
I just got out of the tub. Normally when I take a holy bath, they turn it up a notch with these devices. The last time I took a holy bath, they stole my chargers. Tonight I took a holy bath in which some of the script is on this phone. I turn it off, go to turn it back on to record this, and this is what's happening. And a couple of guys and a girl are yelling that they want your ass to stop telling people that this is going on. I will never stop telling people this is going on. I've told them time and time again there's not a chance. I'm going to tell the entire world. And there's nothing that nobody can do about it. Another girl, she's so confident in these other people. Don't be wanting your ass. Pretty much the people that, the imposters that they've put in place. None of them want, of course, because now they have a body to house. So, yeah, they're all against me telling folks because that means they have to go. But who in their right mind would ever allow anything like that to happen? Who would do it? I'm talking about they have a pastor, a prophet, a detective, I know people from all types of walks of life, and they attacked a chiropractor. I just realized they attacked a chiropractor earlier today that I knew. They attacked everyone. No one is the same. And this is what they're calling schizophrenia, but the thing is they messed up when they stole my vehicle. They threw that whole label out the window when they stole my vehicle and started doing all types of crimes that can be linked to people showing up on surveillance, following me around. All that went out the window. And when you have this RFID chip, you can pick up the frequency and the conversations of those. And I absolutely understand how they cause people to lose their fucking minds because no one would want to listen to the type of dogma that they do all day long. And I'm lucky for me, I have enough, enough going on in terms of the spirit that I can combat it. This is why you don't fuck with the anointed. Anyhow, you get the um you get the the gist of it of what's going on with this phone. It's unbelievable.